All right, so let's move back to the permutations. Might tell me what section it is. Five three or five four? Which one is it? Okay, thank you. No. Well, you can do it. Now, just to reiterate what we did yesterday, let me go ahead and put up a question. And you see if you can do it. If you can't do it, then you know where you are on combinations. And the problem is it's going to be a lottery question because I put a bunch of those on the test. And the second one we'll do is a permutation. And what's the difference between permutation and, or and combination? Good. Good. Somebody listened. I had somebody listen the other day. I wonder which one was it. Alright, I don't know why the computer's catching up. I guess I'll go ahead and start 15 minutes later. Okay. Oh, I had it for me. What is the probability of winning the lottery? And the game has five numbers from one to seventy three and one Powerball from numbered from one to thirty three. There's your question. You should be able to knock that out without any problem. I'm trying to find the bottom of my box. And it might be best for you to use your calculator. Save you a whole lot of time. Now what's the key word in this problem? Huh? Nope. Winning. Why is that a key word? Why is that a key word? You have to buy a ticket, which means you have to put a one over the problem. What's going to happen, this is what's going to happen. So everybody listen. What's going to happen is the know-it-alls in the class are going to take the test, and they're going to do the numbers, and they're just going to punch the numbers in, and they're going to get it wrong. And then they're going to be brave enough to come up and ask me 
to give them credit for it. No. It ain't happening. In fact, you may be embarrassed after I get through with you. Okay? Make sure. I've, I've said it over and over and over. All of these problems, unless it says 10 tickets, you buy 10 tickets, or unless you says, unless it says you buy five tickets, or unless it says you buy five million tickets. If it doesn't say you're buying tickets, it's assuming that you have bought at least what? One ticket. <clears throat> and yes, we do have some know-it-alls in here, believe it or not. Okay, so we know it's a combination. And what's the first combination? 73 and 5, good. And this is multiplication down here. Oops. I'm going to move the C over. And the second one is what? 33. Combination of 1. And that is your probability. So, you take your handy dandy calculator out. Let's try that again. Okay, did we not have a calculator come up the other day? Click that icon three times. Did I not? Oh, we got three of them up there. Oh, me, oh, my. It's the horse's fault. Damn horses. First thing y'all ask me is why'd you buy them if you don't like them? I bought them for somebody else. Just like I bought that dang dog for my kids. Alright, so type in 73. Math. Probability. NCR. 5. Times. Don't know if this will work or not. Parentheses. Second function, entry, I didn't think it would work. Oh well, 33, combination of one. So multiply those two together, 150203334 times second function answer. I got that, what'd y'all get? Okay. Thank you for the interaction. Did anybody get that? Huh? Okay, one person out of 25 people. Thank you for the interaction. One over. 495671. 022. So, you have a 1 out of 495 million chance of winning the lottery, which means you got a better chance of having a heart attack than you do at winning the lottery. Now, would order, would order make it go up or down? That's a True or false question. You can say either up or down. What do you think? Would it make the probability go up or you think it would make it go down? Excuse me. Huh? I, I heard uh, up. Up. Nope. It makes it go down. But thank you for the interaction. So let's try it with a permutation. In other words, the numbers have to be in order of the ping pong balls 
that are blown up in the little chute. Okay, you pull up a one, then your number, your actual number on your ticket, the first number has to be one. And then if the second ping pong ball comes up is a 20, then your second number has to be a 20. If your fifth number is a 20, you don't win. Your second number has to be a 20. So let's see what happens. One, and then we're going to put 73 permutation, five. And then 33 permutation, one. So then you type in 73 math permutation 5 and of course the next one's 33. So I'm just going to multiply that by 33. That's a BA number. So let's go ahead and write it down so you can see the difference. 1 over 5, 9, 4, 8, 0, 5, 2, 2, 6, 4. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I guess one more. You got a better chance at seeing a unicorn than you have at winning the lottery if the numbers have to be in order. Yes. So if on our tests we'll ask or the permutation or combination or is there a certain way that the question be worded? No, I'm just showing you. Okay. Combination is what you use. Gotcha. For those that are paying attention to what I'm doing. Okay. This is just to show you the difference between a permutation and a combination. Combination has no order. So it's easier for you to win than a permutation. Capiche? All right. Now, the second type question you're going to see is as follows. And it's, they could change it to senators. They can change it to businessmen. They can change it to student government. They can change it. They'll just change the people. They won't change the way the problem is fixed. Okay. Um, now I've got to figure out how to write it. Okay. What is happening outside that is so interesting? Oh, it's just beautiful outside. Okay. Y'all want to go and have a kumbaya moment? Y'all want to have a kumbaya class outside? Sit around the campfire? <sighs> In a um, business office, a board needs to be formed with officers from uh, consisting of president, vice president, secretary, and treasurer. The office the business has 40 employees to choose from.
how many different well, arrangements can be made? That's one question. And then a second question, a committee, a four or five member committee also needs to be formed. And they'll give it some kind of committee about a contingency committee or they'll call it some kind of committee, but that don't matter. You just need to know a committee. And a committee, what's the difference between a committee and a board? Anybody know? The committee just does that one certain thing they're assigned to do. Yeah, but I'm talking about as far as what the question, the context of the question. A board has orders. That's right. The board has officers. The committee doesn't. So that's what you need to know for the question. Five member committee also needs to be formed from the same pool, comma, or period, pool. What's a pool? Might be a word. Pool of employees. How many arrangements can be made? All right, that's the type of question you're going to get on my test. So, tell me which one's which. What's what? The first one is a com uh, permutation, and the second one is a combination. So, do you win a ticket on this one? No. So you just write down the combination. You don't have to worry about a one being. So, this one is going to be 40 permutation of what? Four? Well, there's one, two, three, four officers. So you take your handy dandy calculator. Second function entry, second function entry, there we go, and 40, permutation of 4, 2,193,360. Now what is that? That's the different number of arrangements that can be made out of those 40 people. What do you mean? Well, you can make Bubba president and make two or three other people vice president, secretary, and treasurer. But then there's another one where there's four, out of those four people, you got four other arrangements that can be made because you got four what? Officers. Where well, actually you got more than that. Okay? Bubba can be president, he can be vice president, he can be treasurer, he can be. So that's four. But then. You got another one where Susie could be president, vice president, blah, blah, blah. So instead of just a four-member committee or a five-member committee, you've also got order in that committee too, which makes it go up. Because order makes the number go up, makes whatever the big number go up, make it bigger. Okay? So you got 2,193,360 combinations of that board. Now, nobody is ever going to walk up to you at Michelin and say, how many different combinations can we have? You just need to know the difference between a permutation and a combination. Anybody ever seen Iron Man 2? Okay, you remember when he's in the donut, eating a donut? Y'all remember that? And he comes in the donut and he has said, I have tried every combination, every permutation. All right? This is one of those things that you go to college for, this right here. Nobody is ever going to ask you how many members can go on the board. All right? They may, 
I don't know. You may be in a personnel position, okay? But this is one of those things that I attribute to uh, art history and music history, okay? It's good for you to know, but it's not necessarily like somebody's going to walk up to you and ask you to do this, all right? At least when somebody throws out the word permutation or combination in a meeting when you're in the real world, you at least don't sit there and look like y'all look when I say ox is in the ditch. You know, you have some idea of what it is. Okay, that's what this is for mainly. And if you go into a Math Science 301 at Clemson, then you know what permutation and combination is. That's what this is for. Not that you're ever going to use it. But you might see it in another class and you might see it in the work setting and you won't be dumb as opposed when you hear it. Okay? Or Patrick Starfish. The, the orb of confusion. Being all. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of y'all have seen that. Okay, y'all not going to talk to me no matter what. I'm a teacher. I'm not supposed to talk. All right. So now we do the combination. Our combination is going to be 40. Combination of what? Uh, it would not be easier if I just go ahead and can't remember if I did a combination. I didn't do a combination, did I? Nope. So clear 40 math, not the beginning. Combination 5. And you can see the combination is a whole lot smaller. 658,000. Zero, zero, 008. That would be nice if I could do that. Just teach class with movies. But there's not much math in movies. So. And somebody would bitch. And then I'd get in trouble. And there's always what? There's always one. All right. So we good? On permutations and combinations? All right. Yep. That, yeah. Jigga, that is an actual word. It means a very big number. All right. Now, let's move over to the test and let y'all. <coughs> Because I want to do everything I can to make you busy on your test on your spring break. All right. So I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. Y'all have to tell me. Let's go down to here. Nope. So if half the class is in here, we should go to the Well, I, I, you know, that's up to the half the class that decides it's not going to be here. Okay? If half the class, like Miss Hyatt, is not going to be here, then the rest of us might go to breakfast or something. And then what will happen? One person will complain, and I'll get in trouble. So. All right, what chapter is this? Five what? Okay, so what 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 sections of homework? I told you to skip. I told you okay, unassigned four. And which ones out of five are we doing? Five point one. Five point two. Five point three. Okay, so unassigned five point four and five point six. Okay. Let me save that. Okay, changes. And then I will assign those sections. Let's see, five, one, five, two, five, three, and five, five. I will give those. Let's see, today is the 
23rd. So that would be today's the 23rd. I'll give you all till Monday. Get that done. And let's look at the this is a bit I haven't brought it over. I hate the way they do this now. It was mine. Okay, there's mine. Okay, there's a the unit three test. Or unit two. We're on unit two. Yeah. Unit two. There it is. So it's already made, but I need to I need to fix it. So March. Whoa. A little bit too fast. Today's March 23rd. We'll go ahead and make it 8 o'clock. And we'll change it to March. Thing jumps. Because of Miss Hyatt, we're going to put it on the floor. How's that, Miss Hyatt? Is that better? Okay. Okay. Now, let me go through and change it right quick, and y'all can be looking at it. Let's see. No, I don't want to change dates. I want to change. I do not like the way this thing is. Unit 2 test. Edit. Bear with me a minute. I have to remember which ones I took off. Last day of class. Should be five. Oh, exam week. That should be it. I'm sorry, what? You're talking about April. April 25th. Or when is the last day of class? Okay. Well, we'll get to unit three tests. It'll be like ten questions, but they'll be like these three. You'll be all right. Okay. You get me off my. Don't mess with me. You know you can't do that with males. We can't think and. No, I don't forget what I was going to do now. There we go. Last day of class, 2016. And exams week, 2016. <coughs> Shut up. There we go. Did it put it in there? Yep. Next. And I already set those, set that, save and assign. Now let's look at it and make sure everything's right. Unit 2 test. We're not going to go through and work problems. I'm just going to show it to you because this one is easier than the first one. So if you fail this test, you, for one, you have to fail it not knowing how to do the material. And two, you have to fail it because you don't know any of the 10 bonus questions. So if you fail this test below a 50, you don't what? You don't tell anybody. Because that person you're telling will automatically think that you are whatever, fill in the blank. All right, this one is pretty simple. One fifth, two fifths, three fifths. So what do you think D is going to be? Makes up the one. Makes up the whole. There's three fifths. So what will D be? Two fifths. Okay, y'all know that. Some of y'all don't. 
Great book will give me contempt, right? Golf ball is selected from random. It's a golf ball. Okay, now first of all, what is this like? Bag and balls of what? Marbles. Okay, I'm not going to do that one. Which of the following cannot be a probability? Tell me which one cannot be. Negative, that cannot be. All right, the rest of them can be. So that's that. I'll do that one because that one's easy. A bag of 100 tulip bulbs purchased nursery contains 45 red tip. That's just like marbles. And blah, blah, blah. Okay, that's what I wanted to check. Is that April 27th and May the 3rd? Is that correct? Okay. Make sure I didn't have old questions in here. A card is dealt from a 52 card deck. Find the probability that it is not a 7. Now what they're wanting you to do here is use the complement. How many 7s are in a deck of cards? 4. So that means you're going to use the complement of 4 to 52, which is what? 48. 48 over 52 reduces down to what? I have no idea. I think it's something like 12, isn't it? Huh? What's 4 into 48? And 4 into 52, I think it's 12 thirteenths. No way, no how. Most missed question. The probability that a region prone to hurricanes will be hit by a hurricane by a single year is one fifth. What is the probability of a hurricane at least once in the next five years? That is a homework question. Okay? You should remember that from your homework. It's not very difficult. In probability, A or N blank is a process that can be replaced, which is the result of results are uncertain. B replaced. What does that mean? What's that one? In probability, a blank is a process that can be repeated in which the results are uncertain. I would say experiment. I don't think the observation, I don't think that would fit. A fair coin is tossed five times. What is the probability of at least one head? Okay, we've got to take that one out because I didn't cover at least one. I don't think I did. No, at least one. No, that would be at least one. That means your lowest number is one. So that means they want to know the probability of it hitting how many times? One, two, I meant two, three, four, five, right? So that means they want the probability of the five, four, or four times. So you can do this two ways. You can find the probability of it hitting one time and then take the complement, or you can multiply four, five, six, and seven, or add four, five, six, and seven. Sorry, two, three, four, and five times. So I think it'd be easier to find the what? The complement. So one out of five times is what? 0.2. So 0.8 would probably be, so that 0.75 would probably be close. You'd have to do the actual math. So that's how you do that one, of at least one. Remember, at least one means what? That means that your lowest number is what? One. Okay. Determine the following statement. Probability is measured of the likelihood of a random phenomenon or probability is a measure putting a number to the likelihood. True or false? 
I'd say that'd be true. All the homework's done online. Last day of class, that's what I wanted to check, that one right there. When does homework terminate? I should take that one off. How's it counted? Takes the highest and drops the lowest. I know it. Put them all together. The word and in probability implies that we use the what? Multiplication rule. I made this test too easy. From ten names on a ballot. Oh my gosh, a committee. Who? A committee of four. Somebody crank that out right quick for me. Ten what? Combination of four. What do you get? I love how y'all punch on your calculator and then y'all just sit there. Thank you. What is the probability of an event that is impossible? Suppose that the probability is approximated to be zero based on the empirical results. Does this mean that the event is impossible? What do y'all think? Yeah? Because the, empir the, the empirical results mean that if it's toward one, it's very likely, but if it's zero, it's what? It's impossible, pretty much. What is the probability of a zip being, I don't know what they're asking, they just told you. I, you're kidding me. Did I put that question on here? I hope that, well. Okay, I don't know about that question. I don't know about that one. And because he wants me to fail and live in a ditch. A lottery exists where, full, where balls are numbered from 1 to 20. There you go. Put in an urn. To win, you must match the five balls in the correct what? Order. So what do you got to do on this one? So do it right quick. 20 permutation of what? Five. What do you get? Now, does it say, well, it says to win. You must match the five balls. How many possible outcomes? Okay, now they're sending you mixed signals. They're saying to win, which assumes that you bought a ticket. And then they say how many possible outcomes. They're not asking for the probability. The outcomes, is that the numerator, the denominator, or both, or what? Denominator. It's the denominator. So they want the denominator here. I don't like this book. What do you get? Is that what, what you got? 1,860,480? We'll see what it like. Is that is that it? Is that all the questions? I made this test too easy. I think I need to go back and change it. What do y'all think? <laughs> oh, 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 it says you're not completed, but I've ran out of questions. Did I? What did I skip? Oh, I skipped some that I didn't answer. Well. Ever. Yes, submit this. Four, we got wrong. One, two, three, four. I want to check that question about the lottery. I don't understand this question. What is the probability of an event that is impossible? I don't understand that question. I might take that one off. What question? Did I get the whole problem wrong on that one? Suppose that a probability is approximated to be zero 
based on an empirical result. Does this mean that the event is impossible? <laughs> I think I might give you all that one. But did I miss any others except for the ones that... I don't know how to get to the one. How do you... Right here, which is 25. Right here? Yeah. That's the only one. The rest of us skip, right? Okay. All right. Any questions? All right. Well, let me call the roll. And y'all were getting out 15 minutes early or 10 minutes early, so y'all can chill. Y'all not going to explode or anything. Let's see, math one twenty. All right, Mr. Applewhite is here. Bailey, nope. Bannister is here. Bearden is here. Broner, here. Rissy is here. Brown, here. Kathy, don't see Kathy this morning. He's a loser. Uh, Cromer, Cromer's not here. Troxton is here. Demondon? No Demondon. Elrod? Here. Fielding? Here. Gafford is here. Jabert? I don't see Jabert. Jabert's in a ditch somewhere drunk. <laughs> Hall? And Ms. Hewell is doctor's office or lawyer's office suing somebody. Hyatt is here. Jordan? Madden, Here. Medlin, Here. Mentis, Here. Norris, Norris, not here. Orr is here. Piaz is here. Carotta. Smith is not here. Wallace, here. Webb, here. and where? Y'all have a good day. See y'all wherever I see y'all. I'm not going to see some of y'all for a week, right? There'll be like one person show up. No, I'm talking about the ones that are not supposed to be here. Or the ones that are on spring break. I don't choose what time. I'd love to go to the Mexican restaurant, but... I can't, I can't see it at eleven at nine o'clock in the morning. Oh, sure. That's the alcoholic to drink tequila at nine o'clock in the morning. Whew. You wake up though. Yes, true. See you, man. Mr. Gafford, you must be concentrating. You must be. Con